Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 1st, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun. No new major solar flares to talk about or CMEs thwarted our way. But still some amazing images, solar prominence still dancing around both the southeast and northwest positions of our sun. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have a little bit of sunspot activity from a region here on the right-hand side, getting ready to crest in as well. A couple small C-class flares from that center region sunspot. And here is outgoing as I said, no new major solar flares or CMEs to talk about. The flares have been in a C range all day. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. You can see all the days, two days events. A little filament eruption there. And as well, pretty active region outgoing. 171 angstroms here and we can see darkened regions which are coronal holes, and we do have a coronal hole getting ready for an Earth-facing position. And that does increase our solar wind speeds as it is Earth-facing. Having a look at sunspot regions, you can see top right, and as well, equatorial region and cresting. Other than that, not too much to show here. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range after firing off about five C-class solar flares since last night's M-class, strong M-class. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP 2.5 after being bumped up to about four last night. Real-time solar wind sitting at 559 kilometers per second, coming down after being up over 800 kilometers per second. Just want to show you here the last seven days. As you can see, the penetration and the entrance of this space weather event popped our wind speeds up to over 868 kilometers per second. The density bunches came down just as it hit. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing Sunspot region and coronal hole. But no new CMEs to talk about. Having a look at Lasco 2. The last three days of events. There is our M-class flare. In the last few images and as well the C-class solar flares. Schumann resonance for today, a very strong power of 70. Take a look at this telemetry here. Just over the last few hours, big spike in the Schumann resonance. High frequency and cosmic action. Cosmic energies are invading me. Amplitude of 70, quality of 7.1, frequency max 8.3. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. Over 270 earthquakes, 24-hour period according to USGS. Started out the day here with a large 6.5 earthquake, Kim Papua New Guinea, 598 kilometer depth. So, so largest and deepest earthquake right in the Banda Sea. As well, that followed by a 5.4 Marianas Trench and as well a 5.0 Bonin Islands. And then a 5.0 here towards Russia. So very active West Pacific plate today. 4.7 there, Basay, Philippines. 4.4 there, Hindu Kush, Afghanistan. And then earthquakes continuing through Turkey. 4.7, the largest through the region today. 5.1 earthquake here, Scotia plate, South Sandwich Island, 62 kilometer depth. Quiet through South America. 4.1 there, Calama, Chile, and as well a 4.7 off the coast of Peru. Puerto Rico saw 4.1 4 
increasing activity through the region. Oaxaco, Mexico, 4.2. Toya, Texas. Menton, Texas, 4.1. Small swarming there, but big swarming here. The geysers, 3.4 magnitude earthquake was the largest through the region. But there was probably about 130 earthquakes through the region. Quick look here at USGS, 128 earthquakes the past 24-hour period. Definitely seeing a swarm here at the geysers. That is pretty much the end of the San Andreas Fault after it passes through San Francisco up into Northern California. Looking over Alaska, Port Graham reporting 4.0 and as well North Alaska, 3.6 there. But the only major concern are the earthquake swarms that are occurring at the geysers right now. Heads up California, we could see a strong earthquake here over the next 24 to 36 hours. Very deep and large earthquake there, Papua New Guinea. We've seen some large earthquakes the past little while. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. That's what this channel is all about, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Last seven days there across South America versus North America. Lots of minor activity, expecting something big here over the next 24 or 36 hours. So heads up, please share this video with your friends and family. Very strange earthquake there, Papua New Guinea. Having a look here at world weather for wind maps and as well temperatures and precipitation here. We do have some extreme weather breaking out across Texas and southeastern uh, Gulf states as well. We've got a low that's going to be coming into Arizona. It's going to drop a bunch of snow tonight, is right now, and then watch for this extreme weather to quickly move northeastward across the United States before heading up into Ontario. Ontario is set to get about 30 centimeters of snow and coastal regions, United States, watch for really strong winds and extreme weather. So heads up, United States, big extreme weather event on your doorstep. California, you've got three more low pressure systems here over the next few days that are going to be coming into you. Heavy snow falls through the region as temperatures will still be below Freezing temps. Small Alberta clipper there. Long range forecast. Colorado low here developing into the 7th of March. And then look at this huge system over the Atlantic. That's going to be racing back into Labrador and Quebec. Watch for very strong winds and as well blowing snow. That's a massive system. Same thing's happening in the Pacific right now. Look at the size of this low-pressure system north of Hawaii. Looks like there's two lows enveloped in there. Long-range forecast is definitely uh, a little bit strange, especially when we've seen yesterday with the Cyclone Freddy, South Africa, heading back to Madagascar. But watch for extreme weather here. Long-range coming into California yet again middle of March, snow in higher elevations and heavy rains throughout. At the same time, we're going to have a pretty vicious system raking up the east coast of the United States. Overlooking South America, watch for heavy rains through parts of northern Chile and Argentina. And southern Brazil, other than that, no major weather systems affecting you. Pretty big system here in the long range forecast heading into South Sandwich Islands. Very deepening low pressure system. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Overlooking South Africa and Madagascar again here. This is Cyclone Freddy, low pressure system off the coast of Africa. Next few days is going to be heading back to Madagascar and then back to Africa. And then back to Madagascar in the long range. So this low pressure system is just going to bounce around between the continent and Madagascar over the next few days. So heads up, South Africans. Pretty wild weather there as well. 
overlooking Europe, low pressure center through the Mediterranean, and as well, low pressure center over Moscow. It's going to bring down the temperatures over the next little bit, but nothing serious, nothing really below freezing, except for parts of Norway. Long range forecast, big system there developing through the Mediterranean. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, no major cyclones or typhoons developing in the long range forecast here. And then Australia, you've got a low pressure system through the Northern Territory. Over the next few days, it's going to grind its way southeast. As well, we've got Cyclone Judy. And as well, another low pressure system invest area number 98 heading in behind that. Set to bring some wild weather towards areas of New Caledonia, Solomon Islands, and as well, New Zealand, long range. Northern Territory of Australia, yet again, big low pressure system, middle of March. Also wanted to share with you here, upper level winds. This is our polar vortex, the way it looks right now, and it has split in two. That's right, very strong, cold low, hanging out over Nunavut, and as well, another one here over Russia. But definitely some strange things happening. Have a look at equatorial region, which is the middle of our planet there. Watch the winds versus last year and this year. I can't see the difference. Can you see the difference? I'm kidding. There's definitely a big difference here between last year and this year. Trade winds are a lot further south, lower latitude, equatorial region, a little bit high. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world